All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports no argument from me baddest man on the planet ufc heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. And now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Championship of the world. It's who just first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, presenting the challenger Lee. And now introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Lake Forest, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? On 
unable to connect with the right hook. A single collar tie. Kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Big power shot there. That's a big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Great punch. What does he follow that uppercut with next time? He lands it so effectively. And that one certainly found the target. Beautiful Double leg takedown, takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Single collar tie there. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Three minutes to go in the round. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Nice leg kick. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, that right hand is on point. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just misses with the right hook. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ankle pick. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. Oh, and he's back up again. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, nice jab. Beautiful strike. Big head kick land. Counter with a straight hand here, and it lands. Nice job by Lee. We got him whip his hip into that kick. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Well, missed on that one. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Final seconds here of round one. Missed with that attempt. Five minutes in the books. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet. 
that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Good punch, Lance. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big kick land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Back and forth we go. Single collar tie here. And they set. Nice straight punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, single collar tie now. Slips to avoid the run. Big head kick land. He's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Protect your face. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done often enough. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the that. whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some. Wow. Catch down. Just over three minutes to go. Close guard. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big kick land. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without it. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, big head kick. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage out there. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Defense. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Beautiful punch. All right, that's the end of round number two. Oh, 
right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Single dollar tie now. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Just missed with the left there. This is again with a right punch. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big head kick. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here. There are so many options. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. He's got him right here. Oh, straight right. Trying to kick the leg out. Goes back to that left kick once again. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Misses with that punch. Got clip with the right hand. Three minutes to go. What a big time take up. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shit into his opponent. But he does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, collar tie. Oh, that's a good right hand. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, Superman punches true. Nice move to punch. Just misses with the straight left hand. Powerful leg kick land. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop it. Back and forth we go here! Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Man, the body work really strong. Oh! Oh, big left hook there. That's how you finish a fight. He's got him right here. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Oh, nice 
job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Back to the feet now. Nice take down the lead. Lee gets the single leg takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Just misses there with the left. Straight punch land. Looking for that left hand, not there. Moving to his left now. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Clipped him with the right hand there. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has punch. to be attacking that cut. John, I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Left hand punch from the ground. Connects with a right. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Got the single collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. Now he gets a more dominant position with the other hand. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the end. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to shoot a blind shot. He got suspended, as you would expect him to. This fight's going to be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, but now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Good stick. Oh, Superman punch! And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. Nice uppercut by the champion. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Straight right hand. What a punch. 
All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling. Oh! Oh! And just misses. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of slow. And they separate. Oh, he's oh, oh, there. You see, he massive, is hurt. Massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, big shot lands. Oh, straight right. Look oh! Oh! What a fight so far. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. Next round is underway, and Ready? I'm no fighter, but these guys Ready? look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes, and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Good punch. Head kick. Nice body kick. How about that shin? Unable to land with that punch. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down with the head. His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and you come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great. Nice combination of kicks there by Lynx. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Right on the button. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. A oh, little single collar tie there. Left hand punch with the clinch. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Where are your hands? You're okay. Okay. Big body kick. Great punch. All right, so there's the takedown game on display, all set up, though, by the hands. It has to be set up. You cannot just take blind takedown attempts. You can't shoot. You've got to set your opponent up in that position. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get caught. There, DC, he is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, he might be out. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Nice kick landed there. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He 
He's got to go chase that finish down now. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Whoa! Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. So he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Let's get it inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 21 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout. UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC.